Hi there and welcome to another Row Beats workout. Now these workouts are different to my normal row alongs because I don't talk the whole way through. I will tell you when the change ups happen, what the intensity change is and what the stroke rate changes should be. But apart from the odd technique tip, it'll just be music playing in the background to keep you energized through the workout. Now today's workout is going to be a five minute warm up followed by a 25 minute row that's gonna use all four of the intensities that I usually go through. So that means a low intensity 20 strokes a minute, a moderate mid intensity at 24, a high intensity at 30 strokes a minute, and then a sprint intensity. And I will call them out as they're going to happen. All right. So we're going to get into that five minute warm up before we do our main workout. And that means setting up our machine first. Now, when it comes to resistance or however you set up your machine, I want you to set it somewhere where you get a nice, feel from it. You know you're going to be working hard, but you don't just whack it up to 10, which means you have to tug against it to get it moving because that gives you a worse workout, right? Next up for your foot straps, your foot stretcher height, I want you to set them so that you're able to come into the front of the machine with your shins in a vertical position comfortably. And the thing is, is that most people tend to set their feet way too high in the foot plates. So have a look and make sure that the strap covers the balls of your feet, which is often the horizontal lace on your shoe. Now start there and adjust as necessary. But remember, most people set them quite high. So go lower for the time being and see if you can get into that shins vertical comfortably. All right. So five minute warm up we're going to get into. We're going to start off this at 20 strokes a minute, a nice, very low intensity to get our bodies moving. Increase the intensity through this warm up. Do a little bit of drills just to get our bodies moving and then we can get into our main workout. Cool. Super. If you are ready to go, let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So really, the intensity here is I just want you to put enough of a push of your feet into the machine to get it moving. We're not talking any real level of intensity. I just want you to start your body moving and thinking about how your feet are connecting to the handle. So what that means is that as you push your feet into the machine, that power travels up through your body into your arms and then you brace against the handle to send that power from your feet through your arms and into the handle first before you then finish the stroke with that pull and so usually well i don't say usually the way you're meant to do this <laughs> is with a forwards tilt towards the front of the machine as you push your legs and straight arms and then let that power from your feet come up through your posterior chain, up through your back, into your arms. Then you brace against the handle as you push your legs. And then when you run about halfway through that leg push, that's when you swing your back from the forwards tilt to the backwards tilt and finish by pulling in the handle to your chest. Now that we're a minute and a half into this warm up, you can just think about pushing a little bit harder with your feet. Just increase the intensity a little bit. Keep the stroke rate down at this 20 strokes a minute. Push a little harder. And what you should find is that your heart rate starts to climb. You'll start to breathe a little heavier due to the increase in intensity but it's not gonna feel hard. If this does feel hard, you're going too fast. Slow down a bit. This is still a warm up, after all. You should be able to talk at this intensity. You'll probably have to let somebody else say the odd word in order to give you time to breathe because your breathing rate's up, but you should be able to talk relatively comfortably and it'll just feel intensity wise as though you were climbing up like an office building's worth of stairs where you get out of breath and you go hang on this is this is exercise I'm not meant to do that on my office job <laughs> but you don't need to lie down afterwards right we're gonna take two more strokes and then take one foot out of the straps and put it on the ground. So here we go. Foot out. Oh, if you can, put it on the ground. Continue rowing. 
So with that one leg that's still strapped in here, you still push with it. Nice, solid push. Don't worry if your pace reduces here. You've only got one leg in after all, but continue with the straight arms at the front and that rock forwards over your hips towards the front of the machine. Let's swap over our feet. So take the other one out, put it on the ground, continue rowing. Now, I have heard from some people saying they struggle with this because they're too short and their feet don't touch the ground. In which case you might want to put like a box or something next to the machine for the next workout you do so you can rest your foot on top of that. Let's take one more here and then strap that foot back in. Legs nice and straight and roll with your back and arms. You have a soft bend to your knees, don't worry, don't lock them out. But swing over your back, pull in your arms, release your arms, and then rock forwards again. And do think about posture here. I want you to be sitting up on your sit bones and pivoting forwards and backwards over your sit bones rather than curling your lower back. Now let's roll into the front, arms straight, forwards tilt, and just push out with your legs only. So push, hold those arms nice and straight. Maybe have a slightly, a slight outwards turn of your elbows. That really helped to lock them in place as you just push your legs and you hold that forwards tilt into the front of the machine. This is just about legs. No pulling. One more here. Oh, I do pull to a finish, but hey. <laughs> Anyway, that's the warm up done. Keep on just moving up and down the rail, have a quick drink, and I will describe one more time what it is we're doing today. Okay then, so today's main workout is going to be 25 minutes long and it's made up of all four of the intensities that I spoke about in the intro. I am gonna call out the changes as they're about to happen and they will be on the graphics in the background, but don't worry if you miss one of them, all right? Just catch up by the next one. We're gonna start off at 24 strokes a minute at that mid intensity, so make sure and get that intensity up as we start. You're likely gonna be rowing like five to 10 seconds faster than you were in the warm up. all right? So it is gonna be a high intensity workout so make sure and put in the effort over these 25 minutes and you should have a fantastic result by the end okay so if you are ready to go you've had a bit of a wiggle of your backside and you've had that quick drink we can get started in five four three two one let's go so remember 24 strokes a minute follow me for stroke rate if you need to And in 20 seconds time, we're gonna increase the rate to 30 and go up to a high intensity. Likely another five seconds faster or more than you're rowing right now. Ready? Here we go for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go down to 20. Strokes a minute, after this stroke. So take it right back, low intensity. 20 strokes a minute. And then we're gonna go back up to 24 after this stroke. Here we go. And we're gonna keep repeating this pattern four times. In 20 seconds time, we go back up to 30 strokes a minute, high intensity. After this stroke, here we go.
and in 10 seconds time, back down to that low intensity, 20 strokes a minute. After this stroke, three strokes time, we go back up to 24 strokes a minute and that moderate intensity. You ready? Here we go. Twenty seconds to go until we hit that high intensity. Thirty strokes a minute again. After this stroke, you ready? Here we go. Get that rate up. In ten seconds, we go back to twenty strokes a minute again. After this stroke, back to 20s, low intensity. And then after this stroke, back up to 24s. You ready? Let's go. Moderate intensity. seconds time we do our last high intensity 30 strokes a minute after this stroke here we go and then we get that 20 strokes a minute recovery to two strokes time. So take it down. But after these 15 seconds, we're going back up to 24s for one minute at a moderate, medium intensity. You ready? Let's go. So back to that moderate intensity for one minute. Keep on pushing your legs at the front with straight arms. And in 20 seconds time, we're gonna take the stroke rate down to 20, but I want you to try and hold this pace by putting in lots of power. In two strokes time. One more. So, power strokes, push really hard with the legs and pull powerfully to a finish. And in 15 seconds time, we go back to 24s for one minute. Okay, you ready? Back to 24, strokes a minute. Moderate intensity. Remember 
good to think about posture. Sit up nice and powerfully. And in 15 seconds time, we're going back to those power strokes. After this stroke. So slow it down, stroke rate, but keep the power up. Big push, slow recovery. And in 10 seconds time, we go back to 24s again for the last time in this little set. You ready? Let's go. up nice moderate intensity this should be harder than your warm-up and in 15 seconds time we go back to the last of the power strokes in this little section a few more strokes one more and add in your power, power. Connect your feet to your arms and your hands. And in 15 seconds time, we're gonna back the intensity right off, but keep the stroke rate at 20. So here we go. 30 seconds easy. If you need a drink, this is your time to have one. And in 20 seconds time, we're going back to 24s for 45 seconds at a moderate intensity. Three, two, one. Here we go, back up to 24 strokes a minute at a moderate intensity. And in 20 seconds time, going up to a sprint for 15 seconds. After this stroke, you ready? Here we go. High stroke rate, high power, 15 seconds. Then we get 15 seconds recovery at 20 strokes a minute. Two more strokes for me. Take it down, 15 seconds recovery before we go back to 24s again. After this stroke, back up to 24, moderate intensity. It's all about the 24s today. Just under 20 seconds time, we're going back up to that sprint. And two stroke time. After this one, high rate, high power. 15 seconds. 
Then we take it easy. Two more for me. Take it easy. 20 strokes a minute for 15. Then back to 24s again. You ready? Here we go. 24 strokes a minute, moderate intensity. Try and be consistent with your pace if you can. And then 20 seconds time to go back up to that sprint. After this stroke. You ready? Here we go. Remember you get your rest in 10 seconds time. Two strokes. 15 seconds, low intensity, 20 strokes a minute. And then we do our last set of these. After this stroke, we take it back up to 24 strokes a minute. Nice, moderate intensity. Hit your same pace. And then 20 seconds time. It's our last of the sprints. Two strokes to go. After this one, high rate, high power for 15. And then we take it down to 20 strokes a minute, low intensity. After this one, take it easy. And we've got one minute, 15 in total at this. So just settle down, have a drink if you need it. Let your body recover. We're past the 15 minute mark in this workout. We're gonna do a pyramid next. So we're starting at the bottom right now. In 20 seconds time, we're taking it up to 24s for one minute. In three, two, one. Let's take that stroke rate up to 24. And your pace should go up as well. Keep pushing those legs and finish with the arms. And in 20 seconds time, we're gonna hit the top of the pyramid by taking it up to 30 strokes a minute and the high intensity for one minute. Two more strokes. Here we go. One stroke 
Every two seconds. High intensity. Now if you want, in 10 seconds time, you can break into a sprint or you can hold this pace. It's your choice. And in 20 seconds time, we start to come down the other side of this pyramid. So we're back to 24s, mid moderate intensity for one minute in three two one ease off a bit not too much keep the stroke rate at 24 and don't back off intensity too much And in 20 seconds time, you get that rest again. Low intensity, 20 strokes a minute. In two strokes time. There you go, ease off. Take it down, 20 strokes a minute, low intensity. Have a drink if you need to before we hit our last set. Keep a good technique, but let your body recover here. In 20 seconds time, we're going back up to 24s for 45 seconds. In three, two, one, you ready? Let's go. Up to 24, mid, moderate intensity. Try to hit the same pace you've been doing for these, the whole workout. This is your last chance to shine. And in 15 seconds time, we're gonna go up to 30 strokes a minute, high intensity. Two more strokes. One more, here we go. High intensity, 30 strokes a minute. Then we're down to 20 strokes a minute for 15 after this stroke. So take it easy for 15 seconds before we go back up to 24s again. Three strokes time. You ready? Here we go. One stroke every two and a half seconds. Moderate intensity. And in 20 seconds time, we're gonna take it up to a sprint for 15. Two more strokes. One more. High rate, high power. 
Only 15 seconds. Then you get to ease off. Two more. Ease off. 20 strokes a minute. Low intensity. And in 10 seconds time, we're back up to 24s. Woo. Here we go. In 20 seconds time, back up to 30 strokes a minute and a high intensity. Strokes time after this one. Here we go. And in 10 seconds time, you get to ease off. Two more. Here we go. Take it easy for 15. And then obviously we're back up to 24s, mid intensity after this stroke. You ready? Let's go. Twenty seconds time. We are going to sprint all the way home. Thirty seconds. Sprint to the end. In two strokes time. Let's go. High weight, high power. Go as fast as you can, but remain controlled. 15 seconds. Three strokes. Last one. <sighs> Woo. That was fun. That's a great way to pass 25 minutes, isn't it? Right. Let's just keep moving. Very light rowing just to keep your body moving as you catch your breath. Focus on getting oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. And just keep your body moving. Pump those muscles to get the blood circulating around your body. It's much better to break into this light rowing when you finish than it is to just walk away from the machine. Especially if, now that we're a minute gone since the end, you can start to think about improving your posture in case fatigue had set in towards the end of today's row and you started to get a bit relaxed slumpy <laughs> which as you get fitter and stronger you'll find that it'll take longer and longer for you to get fatigued and have those kind of technique breaking moments you should be able to hold that posture tilt forwards push with the legs because if you start to break down too much you just get less effective workout to be honest okay so 15 seconds to go for my cool down you obviously don't need to keep or you don't have to stop just because I am you can keep going especially as I just quickly say goodbye 
So, thank you very much for joining me for this Row Beats workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a great way to pass 25 minutes. That mix of intensities, intensities really does keep things interesting. It keeps your body working, and it's a great thing to do over a lunch break, or if you've only got 25 minutes, plus warm up, and cool down uh, to fill, that's a great one to do. So thank you once again for joining me on this one. I will hopefully see you either in another Row Beats workout or another Row Along workout that's up here. It's entirely your choice, okay? So until then, please take care of yourselves. Be well, bye-bye.